Uh, all the way from Olympian in 2016. He's been a part of three other world championship teams and has placed in the Europeans uh, as a silver medalist in 2016. So he knows how to win at the big stage. But the training in the Russian Federation, I mean, just you're wrestling a world champion, an Olympian every day in the room just to make the team. Well, the redoubtable Russians trying to lay down another marker here. Of course, there is a, a team trophy at the end. Points make prizes, so the Russians will be trying to cram their way in there. It's the Greco-Roman variety on this under 75 kilogram bout. So 34 years old, I just heard Jason Bryant say about Victor Nemish. Yep, he's up there in terms of years and miles on the clock is the Serb. It almost looked like a little grin on his face, like, I am ready for war. Exactly. I was just interpreting it the same way. The smile tells a story, but Chikirkin, well, no question that he is not going to give any ground at all, refusing to yield in the center, spinning around. But it's the referee that's got his eye on him. And that's the second passivity call. Saw him put his hand up in the air. So one point on the board for the Serb. Viktor Nemish. And is there some running repairs needed here to Nemish? I think he's maybe carrying an injury on the way in here. Well, it takes a lot of pain, as we talked about in the Greco-Roman. It's not just hand-to-hand, -hand, but head-to-head -head as well. Absolutely, a lot of head-to-head, -head and arm-to-head, -head and elbow-to-head. And I think, I think it's funny, on the back of our doctor's shirt, it actually says official doctor. So there's some unofficial doctors as well. I'm sure. Well, maybe try and look out for them over the, the coming days. I won't ask them for any help. No, it's never a good idea. Is there a doctor in the house? Thankfully, there is. And just some running repairs here to the head of the Serb. But who's going to manage to get ahead in the end here? And is it one minute you get for injury time? Is it unlimited? Depending on the injury, Depending perhaps? Depending on the injury. With blood, typically, they don't have an actual time for it. I did see a count up with an injury earlier in the tournament, but then I saw the cold spray come out, and then I saw the clock stop, and he waited another two, three minutes. So ultimately, I think they want the athletes to wrestle and not end a match because of an injury default. And if they can compete, they're going to allow them to compete. Well, the magic cold spray makes all the difference. Who's going to be left out in the cold in this one? Chikirkin, under a bit of pressure, takes to one knee, but he's back up again there like a jack-in-the-box. That was a beautiful head snap. He snapped the head, uh, Nemish snapped the head of Chikirkin and put him flat on his knees. The balance and the dexterity for Chikirkin just to get back up to his feet there shows a lot of his training. Oh, it does indeed. He bounced down and back up again, but I think we're going to have to see a bit of a, a tape up here. How's it going to be? I think we're going to go under the ear and round the back of the head. That would be my... Not around the chin? I, I don't know. We've seen the under chin strap before. There's a, a variety. Well, we are in the, the fashion city of Paris, so... It's true. Let's see what design they're going to come up with on this one. But both men still have designs on the gold. It looks like it's right along the hairline, which is horrible, because that just continues to bleed, even if it's a small cut. And of course, the referees have to look out for the health and the safety of, of both. It's not just a cut to you, but also to your opponent. You have to be aware of that. But Nemesh is saying, get the tape on there. I'm more than happy to be mummified in the end. I just want to be able to continue the adrenaline coursing. He could care less about the cut. And if you're Chikirkin here, this gives you a little bit of time to think, well, it's not quite worked out yet. I'm going to have to change things, perhaps. We're wrestling for a gold medal in the World Championships. So at a certain point, I mean, still a close bout, one to zero. Chikirkin is one passivity call away from tying it up. Chikirkin mauling on the inside. Neme is happy to let him work away. I watched Chikirkin coming after that break, and he looked like he 
stepped it into a second gear. He's obviously had time to think about it and thought, no, I have to push on here as we push towards the, the final minute of this opening period here. Gold at stake. And the referee's got his hand in the air again. And that was the first passivity warning against Nemesh. We know that Shakirkin already had two, and Nemesh put one point on the board. Well, Shakirkin full throttle here, going for it, tries to grab over the shoulder. And a beautiful under attack. He dug for the underhook, Shakirkin did, and Nemesh sort of got back on his heels, and he was able to run him straight to the edge of the mat for the one point push out. Perfectly executed and perfect timing as well as we creep towards the last 30 seconds in this three minute opening period. Chukirkin, well, he has the advantage, the last man to score. And again, if you just watch where their hands go onto the wrist and digging right here with his left arm is Chukirkin looking for that underhook. Nemesh sealing very hard with his right elbow, not allowing it to, to kind of break the plane of his elbow. And just the pushing and the pulling, it, it is such an unbelievable uh, skill to have. What's well, an art mastered by Chakirkin in this round. Found himself points down, pulled himself back into it. But that inside work that's done, it's to the untrained eye, the big throw. When they push the opponent out, when they take them down, the novice, oh, that's exciting, that's amazing. But to the, the trained observer, the work that's been done here, that's what wins you the gold medal. Absolutely. It's the little things. And even there, on that step-out position, Nemesh was attempting to go arm drag, but Shakirkin moved his hips just in the right place to push him to the edge, to push him to the edge of the mat to get the step out. Well, both men step into the second and final period. And who can find the edge? The referee having another look at the head. No, he's just checking. The match chairman was ready. And both men are straight underway. Well, it's this time Nemesh that's trying to come forward. He's decided to try and put a bit of pressure on the Russian. But Chikirkin, he looks quite at home there. Interesting, a, a very different type of style. Nemesh doesn't have a whole lot of bend in his knees. Moving his, He does move his feet the whole time. If you watch Chikirkin, He's more apt to bend his knees, to look good, chest a little bit lower. And the, the ref officials noticing that, he asked for a passivity call. Interesting. Because Chikirkin is bending his knees, he's pushing, he's pulling, he's changing his levels. And that's a huge uh, basic skill in, in wrestling, in any sport, of, in any type of wrestling. Top class analysis, Brian Hazard giving you the intricate details, the minutiae that make the difference. Standing with straight legs just means you're not trying to do anything that's Chikirkin this time. Well, he's guilty of it. The referee has a look at it, gives him the first warning. But that's fascinating. If you lock your legs, it means you're not trying to wrestle, you're just trying to hold your ground. You're defending, right? But Chikirkin's changing his level all the time and looking for different positions, which surprises me that they didn't give the passive against Nemish, but they did give yeah. the, second, the first passive against Chikirkin. And there's the second against Chikirkin, one point. So these officials are seeing it a little differently than I am. Not that, that they're right or I'm sure, right, or it's, interpretation. it's just interpretation. Yeah, yep, subjective. But the only thing that is not is the scoreboard and the points ticking away, well, the clock ticking away and the points in favor of Nemish. But you fancy that there's still some wrestling left in this one. Who can find? A takedown or a throw, world championship glory at stake. A final chip and charge needed here into the last minute. I love the Serbian coach telling him something to do. I'm not quite sure what he was, was telling him to do, but a little go behind position for Nemes. Let's see if he can get a two point takedown, and he does. Chikirkin was doing such a fine job of trying to get to his arm throws, just couldn't get to the right place because Nemes was in such excellent position. Well, you called it, Brian. You saw the emotion there of the Serbian coach. He's going to ask to calm down just a little bit. Easier said than done. A swig of the bottle. Normal order is restored and in fine order at the moment. The name is down the stretch here. Last reaches of this one. And there's some countries that come here expecting multiple gold medals. But if you're from Serbia, 
They do have an excellent tradition in Greco-Roman wrestling, but coming home with a gold medal to Serbia is, is, is the world to these coaches who might never see that again. Well, you mentioned that silver medal he took at the Europeans in Novisad and his home nation. Can he take home a glorious gold here? He's on the cusp, Chakirkin trying to find something. He looks out on his feet, the Russian. For every action, a reaction, for every question, an answer. The coach on his feet, the fighter on the move, and it is Viktor Nemez. At the first time of asking, superb from the Serb. And that's a wonderful way to win. I just, I watch with pride as a coach when you just see that all of his toils and everything that he's been through, it comes to fruition here with a world championship.